he loves to make the voice of Donald Duck. <laughs> and not always at the most appropriate times. <laughs> Dad just loved to sing. And he and I would sit in the second row of the church at our St. Luke Lutheran, St. Luke, St. <laughs> John Lutheran Church in Mendota, Illinois, every Sunday at the 8.30 service. And we would sing hymns together. And he, he loved it. He really did. <laughs> He's got a thing with steps, so from the garage up the staircase into his house, he'll tell me exactly how many steps, and he ends up doing that anywhere. You know, he's been here, and I'm sure he'll tell you exactly how many steps are out <laughs> in the front, so he just likes counting his steps. He's a geologist, so he's obsessed with rocks, and I think we call him the rock jock sometimes. The rock jock. That's definitely quirky. Um, well, when he taught Max to crawl, he was uh, slapping the. My dad was crawling, uh -huh. showing him how to crawl, and he would slap the floor with his hands. Um, and Max thought that was so funny. So now, when Max crawls, he always slaps the floor with his hands to make so the same learned, noise. He's learned it perfectly. <laughs> he's learned it perfectly from my dad. Yeah. On his 80th birthday, he was asked to stand up and say something, and he stood up and started talking. And pretty soon, he's turning and turning and turning. So much so that by the end of his talk, he was face, his back was to the audience. His sense of humor is very quirky. Unless you really know him, you will walk away thinking, was he joking or was he serious? My dad was a big baseball player and baseball was, ended up being a big part of my life. So I remember from being young, him teaching me to throw a baseball and hit a baseball. He taught me to just take every situation and, and make it something positive, if you can. He taught me how to um, rock climb, yeah, climb mountains, but oh, wow. specifically he taught okay. me how to use ropes to climb. Um, Do something. He actually taught me how to draw blood. Draw blood? Yes. Uh -huh. When I was like 12 years old, I went to his office and learned how to draw blood. Uh, love music. So he really loves music and he instilled a love for music for all the kids. Um, to understand that there's always two sides of every story um, and to try your best to walk a mile in somebody else's shoes before you criticize them uh, of anything. I would say that much of what my dad taught me was by example rather than words. First, there was humility. Dad was humble. He never put the title doctor before his name except on official correspondence. Basically, he taught me a bit about mechanicing and, and uh, love and interest of cars. I don't know, like um, how to change, like a uh, fix an air conditioner. Oh, really? Uh, get yeah. it ready for the summer and everything, yeah, yeah. a swamp cooler. Okay. Uh, lots of hands-on stuff, I guess. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, well, he taught me about hard work, even though I didn't like to get up in the morning and uh, go out and uh, help milk the cows. That was required to get up about six o'clock and uh, do chores before uh, school. He taught me how to set up and take down my air conditioner, my swamp cooler. Hiking. Hiking. He taught me how to hike. Okay. How to climb steep hills. Long distances. Long distances. Yeah. Okay. One foot in front of the other. Okay. Um, um. I think truly loved everyone that he met. Um, he was just sort of a like radiant, loving person, um, and so he sort of showed his faith through his actions. And um, between the time that my mother died and um, my father died, he endeavored to um, buy three houses, one for each of his grandkids. Wow. He. He and I went to church always on Sunday, and we always went to the 8.30 service, and he believed in God, and he was a God-fearing man. He, he was an example of a good Christian man, and father. Well, my, my dad was a person of very few words. Um, we grew up in the Roman Catholic Church, and, and I would say we were, we were a devout Catholic family. Um, but my father never really talked about it. It was how he lived his life. Um. 
was respect and care for God's creation. Dad spent his high school and college summers working in Glacier Park, and that bore fruit in his connection to God's beautiful earth and the plants and animals that live on it. You know, one of the things that I've learned from my dad is really to, um, you know, ask questions and be inquisitive about the world, including, you know, with faith. And so it's really encouraged me to explore lots of different possibilities and, and learn from different teachers. I think he does his best to help as many people as he can in a lot of different ways. Uh, okay. So I think he lives his faith that way. Dad never talked um, uh, openly about his faith. It was just uh, a part of his life. He could read a Bible passage or something and think a little bit beyond it. Think, think, think how some people might have in his tradition misused it and think outside the box. And I, I think that showed up. My father is a helper. He's a helper. You can ask him, anyone can ask him for help with anything anytime and the answer is always yes so I call him the helper